Hey, what's up, everybody? I wanted to make another video talking about the new aim assist and the old aim assist because it turns out not a lot of people know you can get the old aim assist mechanics back. So I just wanted to demonstrate that and kind of tell y'all about both of them. See which one you want. I think the new one's better, but first off, let me show you. You can. Okay, this menu shut down right now, right? You go over here. Let me go back to what it's going to look like at the very beginning again because some people do not know. Wait. They don't know that you can do all this. And I've had so many people argue. So this is what it's going to look like if you haven't touched anything. You just boot up. This is gone. You're like, oh no, I can't aim anymore. My sensitivity settings are all jacked up. Here's this. You don't know what to do. So if you want to use the old ones, you come right here. Use Advance. X to confirm or A on Xbox. And then you're going to come down here to use Legacy Look Controls. Press Apply. And that's going to unlock this. And it doesn't only unlock it. You're going to get the pull. See? Just like you used to. Even with ARs. You can still L2. You just can't on the new one. The way they put their video out. And they said they're removing L2. I mean not video. Their patch notes. They said no L2. That only applies if you use the new settings. But look. You're still getting L2. See? Like you're still getting it. It only applies if you change it. So the old school um, aim assist mechanics are good for when you're having the ADS. See, it just kind of takes over. Just boom. It'll kind of zap to them. But hip firing, look, you get like no stick. Look at that. Nothing. It's good for when you're ADSing like this because look, you lock on. Yeah. ARs. I think ARs at range are like the best thing because even right here with the new one you don't need to be able to snap you can get on them pretty easy on oh, my controller has drift but see so I think the old one is better for ARs and I mean maybe if you're box fighting this could be good because you get that pull straight to their head but what I've realized is most mouse and key got like if you're going against mouse and key players they don't ADS and that's what makes them so good because they can like watch if I jump around and try to spray like that see it's just not it's not super easy to control like it is on the new one I'm about to show you all that and then like this hit fire shots I mean oh man this is hard to demonstrate when my controller got drift anyway you see what I'm saying it doesn't stick on them or anything and now let's go to the other one where you use a new one so you're gonna go back down here use the new one the advanced setup and this okay yeah there is no L2 look nothing it's not gonna pull to her at all so on this one you get no L2 that's correct but everybody thinks it applies to both but it doesn't it's you get two different aim assist mechanics on legacy you get the old mechanics and on this one you get the new ones but look at this look at that slowdown it just makes flicking so easy because you can just it just slows down right on their body and I think I'm not for sure but it feels like if you have motion blur on it slows even more I don't know if that's for sure a deal but it feels like it y'all might want to play around with that and see but oh my controller has such bad drift and see like what I was saying with hip firing like look it sticks it's sticking so you can do like a mouse and key now and you can jump around and hit fire and look you just barely have to control it versus the other one you can't jump around like that you have to you have to be stationary like this and plus tracking this one when they're in the air is like way better on this one it's just uh only things bad about the new one is if you're at range with the AR it might take you a second to get on them because you don't get that pull but once you're on them I mean plus when it's red that tells you that you're not uh, losing any damage from uh, your guns you're in range for the highest damage per shot and like you can just oh I say you can flick and then I just whip this controller's got terrible drift though by the way like no joke but it just sticks on them and you can time it better so I recommend using the new ones and you can increase your build multiplier way higher on this one 
you can uh, do your edit same thing this is gonna be your X and Y which mine's pretty low right now I've been messing with mine a lot I still don't know what I like it's like driving me crazy because I can't figure out one this is boost if you turn this on um, let me turn it on real quick so what happens is you get a multiplier of your sensitivity but I mean I don't really know if you want it I don't I think it's boost is okay like if you're a low 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 sense player or if you want to be turn be able to turn a little quicker use like a low setting but I don't think you want to use it real high and the boost ramp time is how long it takes to get the boost in effect after your stick hits the uh, rim of your controller and then it'll kick in 0.2 seconds after you can slow that all the way down or whatever you want speed it up instant boost when building you would want that on if you're gonna use boost but it, I'm not so it doesn't even apply right here see I put a little boost on here because I run a low um, ADS so it does boost after I hit it all the way to the rim look dampening time that's uh how long it takes for your controller to reach um your sensitivity to reach the top speed after moving it so i put that as zero it feels better it feels a lot better look input curve there's been a lot of talk about this let me just try to show all right so oh my god it's so weird it it reacts like as soon as you touch your controller like to make baby adjustments it's so hard but it does make flick shots pretty feel pretty good like it's fast though I don't know I don't know if it's for me I've heard people say they like it for editing and stuff which I'm not a good editor so it doesn't matter to me and then um I'd say play around with that if you like it then stick with it if not just go back to exponential and you obviously want aim assist strength at 100% and yeah oh yeah you can copy your it will kinda adjust the new sensitivity to your old ones if you want so copy from legacy and it will adjust it to how your legacy controls were kinda it'll try to anyway but yeah that's uh hopefully y'all learned a little something from the video and like I said, I recommend trying the new one. A lot of people are going to want the old because they don't really want to adjust anything new. But like I know Nick Merckx and um, Ghost Aiden, they're playing on Legacy. But I don't think they've really played around with the new one as much. Gronky too. And I love watching Gronky's videos. If y'all know who Gronky is, it's like the best YouTuber. It's like who made me start getting good. And then um, who was it? Faze Beanie, he's like really, really, really good, and he did switch, and he likes the new one better. And there's a there's some other guys too that like it better, but um, just play around with it and see which one you like. If you like getting in people's face, I say go with this one because, like, you can just flick on them, and you don't even have to ADS. Because another benefit about not ADSing, let me go over that real quick, is like when you're in a box, like let's say come inside somebody's box and you have to do this and look at you you're standing here and if this player is good they're gonna be jumping around moving and you're just like uh you're just kind of stuck but being able to I mean look at that when you can jump around and just track them I don't know it's just way better to me anyway if the video helped you out let me know if you didn't like it let me know if you want to see something different next time, just uh, comment what you want to see on the next video. I'm probably going to mess around and um, try to get some clips on the new one again. I just had a video the other day where I was playing around on a new one, just messing around with some flick shots and rumble. Oh yeah, that's what I was going to say too. So to find your sensitivity and stuff, pick up a pump AR SMG and mainly use your pump and SMG and just land on people. And just find a good sense that you can control and beam them like that. Like, a rumble is a good training tool. You can practice uh, new sensitivity, new building techniques, new all that. So, just uh, go figure out which one works better for you. And let me know, do you play on Legacy or do you play on the advanced settings? and I mean, yeah, settings, sensitivity, aim assist, whatever. So, yeah, it's different settings, different sensitivity, and it's a different aim assist when you switch.
And you can use whichever one you want. Why didn't it spawn back up? Okay. Alright, I'm out. I will catch y'all next time. And if you want to, to uh, watch me live, I stream on Twitch under JD Gatlin. I got a face cam. Pretty funny squad. We're not crazy good, but we're alright. And I will be streaming the live event on Twitch if y'all want to watch that with me. Alright, everybody have a good one. Peace out.